Welcome to the first ever Da Vinci's Cold Debate. And in the building, we may got the lovely couple from the first two episodes. Uh, you guys want to introduce yourselves? Her first. Oh, Kwane. <laughs> what, say it again? Kwane. Like Renee with a Q. Um, I wouldn't go that far. Anyways, That's literally how it's pronounced. Do you have anything you want to plug real quick before we stop? No. You sure? It's possible. Oh. All right, Kwame it is. Uh, I'm Devin. Oh! <laughs> From out east? No. This Devin. That's crazy. That's Stanley, by the way. My looks is thicker, though. Stanley Wilcox. <laughs> Uh, you're welcome. I don't know what the hell. Anyways, today I bought these two all uh, because they have a question that only I feel like that they can answer. So the question to you guys, I want to hear both of your opinions, is do you think Future have gotten more toxic from the last time we had a conversation about Future? Starting with the man first, this is March Madness. Uh, Devin, go ahead. I'll say yeah. Why you say that? Because... Drake killed him on uh, Life is Good. That's such a lying ass. I'm not so, so he this definitely nigga, did. So this nigga made a whole remix and kicked Drake off he of it. <laughs> I mean, so no, no, take, I said, no. Drake, Drake fucked himself up by saying he hasn't paid his taxes. <laughs> he probably volunteered not to be on that remix track. Nah, nah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be on that. Future, shit. Future ain't like that shit, bro. He was like, nah, this nigga ain't getting no more credit. Okay. I'm just about to take that nigga off. Completely. All right, that's one instance. What else? Shit, that's about it. That's all I know. So about him, him suing his baby mama for uh, want child support. That's not toxic. Can we pause? He's suing her for wanting child out. support. Yeah. Can we pause? Bro, stop. No, we keep real. Oh, because I I don't follow up a future. I don't know what he has or hasn't done, so I can't answer this question. Oh, you can pretend. You can lie. <coughs> we're in a we're in a we're in a safe space here. You can lie. Yeah, that nigga's still toxic, bro. He's still toxic? toxic. Okay, well, yeah. we'll get your opinion on Dang things. Dang someone then. that's like 13 years younger than him, and that's kind of weird. How old is that nigga? He's like 30-something. Close to He's like, what, 37, 38? And she's like 22. She's, is she over 18? It doesn't matter. And can she drink? Yes, it does. It actually does matter. I think R. Kelly would really like to get in the heated debate with you about that. That's who you choose? That's the only nigga that would say some shit like that. By age. Who else would say it? So okay, so you saying him dating a young Locked successful? Nigga up with R. Kelly. You saying him dating a young successful woman is? I bad? didn't say that's bad. That's the only thing I know. Sound about like she's like, why are you being? Sound like you being kind of toxic towards him. Why? Why no, is that? I just think what has he done? What has Future done to you? He ain't done nothing to me. And why you don't like him? <laughs> because he's stupid. And I guess. Why? I that's not a good reason. I don't, not, I don't do like you agree with that? You think he's stupid? Future. I just think that him dating a younger woman is kind of weird. I feel like men do that all the time. Can you let me talk? Okay. I feel like he's dating someone younger than him because he wants someone that he can control. Whoa. So what if the roles were reversed, though? What if she was the older bitch? It I mean, the older woman that uh, was dating him? It'd be the same. It'd be the same. You still think that she tried to control him? Yes. Uh, you feel the same way? You think women had a power to control men? Because that's how that's what she's saying. Yeah. You think that? Yeah. Wow. Do you guys think that? The viewers at home? <laughs> Cause I personally don't think that. Why don't you but think wait, that? Are, why you, don't you, why a, don't you think that? You um quick question. You're a huge Drake fan, correct? Like you she said that several times. She's a big Drake fan. Like, you're you a big Drake fan? I never said that. I vaguely remember you saying it on some episode that you were. I say he's fine, but I ain't say I'm a fan of his like that. She be saying he's fine, bro? You, I, you live with it. You should know this shit. I don't care. Just ask it. This is a yes or no question. I don't care. You would know. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. A, what's the question though? Continue. The question. So Drake what does the same thing. Doing? Like that nigga said he hit his chick. He used to babysit, but nigga still is still. And he's weird too. So. He's weird too. Drake is definitely a weirdo. That Drake definitely a weirdo. Indubitably. That nigga's definitely a weirdo. Okay, no doubt about that. We can all agree that Drake is a weirdo. Like I, I will agree with both of y'all on that. Like Drake is. Okay, a so weirdo. why is Drake a weirdo and Future's not? Because Future should be slapping harder than Drake. This is a Future gawk session right now. I don't think it's that. He loves it's not. It's not that. It, I got her on here for her opinion. Two, two I haven't man, ignored her at all. Gawk session, bro. You had one at first. Now you <laughs> got I don't even. That's a yo. But okay, I'm not eating a glizzy. But um, <laughs> you eating a dick? Whoa. whoa. <laughs> Watch you guys out here ask your you questions. You eating the future?
future Glizzy. I, I, I asked you guys on here to for <laughs> your questions. You even, you even not not eating. Not eating. <laughs> not eating. <laughs> this man eating. Not, not eating dick. I did not bring that. I, we're not talking about he eating dick. On it for we're you? talking about one person here. He dipped it in lean for you. Huh? <laughs> what is that even? What? No. What? I don't do drugs. You oh, do future I would never. I would never do drugs. I don't, I don't do that at all. <clears throat> so, but you guys don't, you guys think he's toxic as a couple? Because that seemed like what's going on here, a couple things. Yeah, future toxic, bro. Future. What do you call, to, what's exactly, what do you call toxic exactly? What's your definition of I toxic? Just, what's your definition of toxic? Well, my definition of toxic? Yeah. Future. That's, not, that's, that's a name. That's a good answer. Nevadius. That nigga, toxic. Like, what, what the fuck? That yeah, what that is it? It's toxic, bro. What does he do that's toxic? He's toxic, bro. All right. Yeah, you get up and walk away now. We don't need you on the show no more. Right, she, she'll give me a more yeah. vivid opinion because she hate niggas. I'll holler at y'all niggas. I do hate niggas. <coughs> yeah. So go ahead. That's why you should be. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Why you, so what's the question again? What do you call toxic? What would you call your definition of toxic? A man that's controlling. Mm. <laughs> why are you so angry, bro? Why are you so angry? Why are you? What are you? You been drinking that much? You really don't want to take the MCAT. <laughs> you really don't want to take the MCAT test. I had no clue where that chair was going. <laughs> we only bought three tests anyway, Stan. It's okay. You have to take it. But before you're violent, obviously, boyfriend, you need to watch out for that. What What are you, what's your definition of toxic? A man who's controlling. Um, no, 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 he ain't years. controlling. We don't, Ooh, we don't play them games. Okay. I don't control okay. him and he don't control me. Okay, real shit. And that's just that on that, period. Okay, that's okay. I know you oh, that's so cute, y'all high five. She she told him to say that shit. Like, look, let me get in here. Don't you act the nigga with Devin. You just be don't trying to act the nigga stuff. with you Devin at all. Don't be saying that. And you know I didn't you, know that. I wasn't in your you car ride over here. Chilling, so I wasn't I wasn't in your car ride over here. Bro, why you got a pop out of your seat in your pocket? You did a pop <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot I was in there. Chicken sandwich. I'll let you, boy. I still eat that shit. Um, a toxic, toxic to me is, like I said, someone who's controlling. Uh -huh. Um, What else is toxic? People who are manipulative. That's a toxic trait. Um, I don't really overuse the word toxic. I, I, I really don't even use it that frequently. So I'm just going to go with those two answers. Hmm. You're toxic. Okay, that's fine. Because you're dramatic. problematic as fuck. Well, I don't think I won't go that far. You Everybody agree with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did hit me with a chill. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> you're problematic, so I feel like you're toxic. Um, oh, I know. Okay. I was trying cool. to give you CTE, bro. Damn, bro. How you know you already got it? All right. I believe it. Okay. So you think I'm toxic? Mm -hmm. No, that's fair enough. But I don't think me listening to future that may be toxic. I do listen to NWA, though. Them niggas definitely toxic. How old are you? Old enough to listen to NWA. Oh, I thought you said I'm stupid. I thought she said, yo boy, NBA, ain't that something? Oh, Lord. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> she 38 or How old is she? <coughs> oh, wow. I'm old enough. No, you're not. All right, so <clears throat> we got our definition of toxic. She said it's a controlling nigga. He said future, whatever that means. But uh, you guys want anything? You don't want to play anything before I get up out of here? Devin? Uh, yeah. Nah, I'm sure. Kwame? Stop no! talking it! <laughs> okay. I'm a photographer. You can follow me at underscore, one. underscore, Q and S, X, X. I won't punch you unless you bring Devin with you. That Devin is still. You did. Oh, okay. Just fair. Yeah, Instagram.com slash Devin DaVinci. What? What's <laughs> not even, what are you doing? Why are you playing? Don't do that. <laughs> Do do that. Your picture's not even up. That's me. <laughs> and on that note, we are out of here. I'm Devin Da Vinci, and these are my dreads. How do you feel about women stalking your social media accounts? That and they're not following you because I actually do have a, a situation like that. But.